Hanna, obviously your solution has something to do with air, with pressure. I see a vibration sensor. Can you tell us something about it? Yes. Okay. So in a lot of industries, compressed air is uh, used a lot in many areas. So uh, what we've found is that um, air leakage is, uh, is something that uh, is a big issue. It costs a lot of money and it uh, creates headaches because it's frequencies that you can't really detect. So what we've made is a, a simulation. We made a tube and we made a hole in the tube. Then we have hacked cheap, uh, affordable sensors that can be put up in different uh, combinations to detect where uh, the leakage is coming from. Okay, and I see here a microphone as well. What about that? Okay, so uh, in industries right now to localize these air leakages, you walk around with a really expensive piece of equipment that picks up frequencies. Uh, a human walks around. Yes, a okay. human walks around, exactly. And uh, these uh, pressurized air systems, they can be kilometers long. So it takes a lot of man hours to find these uh, holes. So what we thought is that we just put up small microphones everywhere to pick up uh, certain frequencies to uh, locate the air leakage. Okay, so to sum it up, you have two types of uh, identification or yeah, of, of uh, leakages. One is the sensor and one is the microphone. Yes. All right, so I think we should do maybe a little technical deep dive for our viewers that have a technical background. So let's do, let's do this at the whiteboard. Sounds good. Okay, Lucas, so let's do a little technical deep dive about your system. Okay, thank you. So basically we have four parts in our system. So we have, first we have to sense, actually, like Hannah said, we have the two kinds of sensors right now, but we have even more opportunities, which we cannot go deeper in this time, but we just want to show it is actually pretty simple, possible to detect this leakages also with other sensors. So the first thing we were doing in the sensing was to test these two sensors where we had the opportunity to get them and set them up and just sample some data to simulate that we have a problem. Mm -hmm. So for example, we were using this vibration sensor to, or like accelerometer to measure uh, like the acceleration on the specific axis to get the vibration pattern and also see whether there is some vibration or not the vibration. So we simulated this data firstly with the cell phone to just read and sample the sensor data. And also with the microphone, we did the same. We were assuming or um, building a graph where we had the frequencies just like in the normal when it is silent. And then we were assuming that when a leakage is happening, we have very specific frequencies which might be very loud in a very high frequency area. So we assume something to happen like this. We built simulations around that and then we tested it also with real signal generators. So this is the first part of the technical solution. I mean, for making it possible to detect also where we have leakages in a very complex system, we need to, after the ana analysis, we need to connect the sensors. We need some smart sensors, and we thought we have the opportunities in Industry 4.0, like using IoT devices, connect them to a cloud or like with edge computing to get the sensors from the local spots up to a central uh, monitoring room where we then can visualize that we have problems in the system and exactly where these problems are. So instead of searching several kilometers of lines, we can search very specifically in like 20 meter radius. Okay, cool. And what is your typical application, a plant? Yeah, the typical application. I mean, it could be we have production lines um, where we use a lot of robots where the tools are using this pressured air. Then we have a second, even the energy sector, where we have a lot of pressured like lines and also pipelines uh, with gas. And uh, yeah, even pipelines. <laughs> is that another solution? Okay. Obviously. Okay.